Uh. Hi, welcome to Beer 30. I'm Greg. With me is Josh and Josh. Hey guys. Hey, hey Greg. Guys. Hey, Greg. <laughs> You don't need your mic for this, remember it's okay. Yeah, I wasn't really talking into it. Uh, what tripped me up was... Yeah, I, I looked over it. I, I figured. Hey. Uh, you, you look, look so... Like, like a little <laughs> Hey, guys! <laughs> what was that? You can stand up if you'd like. Dorf. Go ahead and stand up. Dorf. 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 He just recently died, died. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. Man. Uh, last week? Was it last week? No, yeah. I think it was a. Two it was pretty Couple recent. Months ago. Yeah. So rest in peace, Tim Conway. Uh, <laughs> I don't know where we're going with that. So today's beer is a uh, one of our our good friends at the the AB in the. I would well. Oh, are friends with friends? them? I don't know. Our neighbors. It's, it's our neighbors, really. Uh, Budweiser Discovery Reserve. Uh, American Red Lager. So this... Are we, we opening can, each one of them? Yeah, go ahead and just open them all. These things let you have your own beer. I don't like it. Well, let them deal with it. So this is actually being poured into a Budweiser glass. So I'm going to drink mine out of a bottle like a man. So I read that this is uh, the fourth beer in the Reserve series. I never realized this was a series. Oh, well, it's a series. Well, they got to yeah. keep up with it. It's quite a scene. I didn't pay that close of attention. So what have we had out of this? We had, uh, we had the Jim Beam one. Oh, that was, was that one reserved? Yeah. Uh, yeah. You know, the cop wasn't the copper reserve one. The, I gotta uh, say though, lager? in drinking that a uh, a second time, I didn't hate it as much. I agree. Yeah. So this one is for the moon landing. All the the, I guess uh, some of the. It's got a weird taste to it. I don't know why you don't wait for other people to. Sorry. You just Maybe go ahead. Anyway, uh, this I is saw. for the 50th anniversary of the moon landing. That uh, we faked. Next step, <laughs> the next step for beer. Discovery Reserve American Red Lager is brewed by brewmaster and Air Force Captain Carissa Norrington with toasted Voyager barley malt for reddish color, remin reminiscent of the next frontier, Mars. So anyway, um. I guess a lot of this goes to Folds of Honor, which helps military families get the education they need to make their own discovery. Oh, a dollar for every case purchase. Now, this really in the case is a six pack. Right. So you get 24 cents. Yeah. I don't know. And they also come in 12 packs, too. I don't know if they actually come in. The case would be 24, 24 right? 24, yeah. I don't know. Maybe they just make that. So you guys already took a sip. Yeah. <clears throat> took a sniff. Took a sip. Doesn't have the. It doesn't have any best of aroma. No head. No, yeah, it went away pretty quick. Yeah. Now. Well, it smells kind of caramely, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Taste, and I, I think it tastes caramely too. See, and I was wondering because. I I saw that this was a another reserve, and it looks like the same bottle that they use yeah. for. The other ones uh, we've tried. The same beer. Is it the same beer? Because I don't really remember. The other ones weren't Let's as see. memorable enough where I'm like, that's good. I want to get that, another Okay, so here, here's my issue with Budweiser doing this. They are not adventurous enough. Well, maybe they're not willing to piss off our loyal drinkers enough to go out and make this, make, make a special release taste different enough to not taste like Budweiser. Well, you know what I'm saying? I know, and AB has this way of taking their names that are good, you know, Budweiser, Bud right. Light, all good sellers, and they just slap a, a variant on it. Yeah. Instead of making a, just a new beer, you know, because, well, I guess if they just came out with Discovery Reserve, no one would buy it. Budweiser Discovery Reserve? Right. Yeah. So there was a the 93 Repeal Reserve? That was one. Oh, yeah. Or, that one. 1893. Or okay. 18, 1933. Sorry, 1933. I tried that. We tried that at the um, the uh, Christmas uh, lights. Oh, yeah. That's right. And I thought that was pretty bad. Another one was, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I got to say, it wasn't, it, it, it wasn't that good. The Jim Bean Copper Lager was another one. And... I gotta say, I don't hate Budweiser. 
you know, I uh, a regular Budweiser, I can drink every from time to time. This I actually don't hate either. I think this is actually I wouldn't go out of my way to drink it. No, I I think it's one of their better ones. It's definitely a red ale. It definitely has that red ale mm. taste to it. That's true. And I guess I'm just not a fan of red ale. Yeah. No, it's it's so got okay. yeah. Um, what is it like? The if house? you poured Killian's yeah. right, house. Killian's red yeah. into yeah. a yeah, Pasta House has their own red. Yeah, it, I'd say it is kind of similar to that. Now yeah. you mention it. And it's a red me, lager. It's a red lager. Yeah. Um, yeah. I had yeah. some reviews up here from. I definitely think it's better than that. That that copper. Uh, Jim Bean Copper. Oh, yeah, I, I'd give you that. I actually think this is pretty decent. You know, I... If you like Red Loggers. I, yeah. I I do like Red Loggers. Um, it brings me back to what... Before childhood. I was, <laughs> childhood. childhood. It, brings me, it brings me back to before I was really drinking a lot of craft beers. Yeah. Um, you'd go to the store. There wasn't as many at the store, but you'd be reaching out when you grabbed a George Killian's Red, mm-hmm. you know. And that's my cell pump working. <laughs> it's behind that brick wall. I don't know what the the other one is. There's so there's supposed to be four, and I can only find the two. This is supposed to be the fourth one in the series. Hmm. So this has a five five percent ABV. Um, it gets for an AB product. On Beer Advocate, there's 37 ratings. It's getting a 3.63 out of 5, which is spectacular for any any beer that has Budweiser in the name. Because normally... They, they get, show it in cans on there. Yeah, they show it in a... In, it looks like a tall boy, maybe. But uh, I, I found it in the six-pack. What do they call these? The fat bottles or... Short and stubby. <laughs> the stubs, stubbies. I agree with that rating, though. I'd say it's in that thing. Sure. Uh, you know, the one thing, though, I, I think it needs to be a little colder. Mm-hmm. This is a little bit Yeah, so you can't taste it. Right. <laughs> kill, the, kill the flavor a little well, bit. Well, that's probably a little bit my fault, too, because yeah. I bought it. It was in the car for a little bit. And then yeah, I it was a thousand it, degrees outside. Threw it in the freezer. Mm-hmm. It dropped, so. Yeah. Anywho... Yeah, I'm good with that rating. Uh, 3.6 out of 5. A 3 points. You're just going to copy, huh? Uh, what would that be? That would be a... Uh, ah. 3 piss. That'd be a... No. High C. That'd be like a... A low C, rather. 16. No. <laughs> Math is hard. 3.6. I'd so give... Multiply I'd apply that, it would be 72. I'd give this like a hundred. I give this a B, B plus. B, C minus is what. Well, I'm gonna give it a little higher than that. B plus, you said? Yeah, I. Woo. I That's actually. High, no way, not a B plus. That's a C. High. I say. C we plus. all have our own tastes, everyone. That's true. You know, six. Three divided by five is six. Oh, okay. Well, it's three point six. Three point six. Seventy-two. <laughs> C, C minus. You said. Yeah. Yeah. C minus. Well, there you go. The uh, beer advocate says a C minus. You, you what do you say? I say C plus. C plus. C, C, and I, I'll go up to B. So there you go. I don't think it's horrible. It's I think it's worth a try. Yeah. Um, and. You know, if they show up and they're in your fridge next week, and I need a beer, I might drink one. Yeah, and, it, and if it's on, <laughs> if Not it's on time. tap at your local watering Pick hole, something else, and they oh don't have gosh. anything else on hater. tap, it's fine. He's such a hater. Yeah, he's he dropped me today. No, I like good beer. This is not good beer. <laughs> Well, there you go. Oh, he says that and then takes a chug of it. He's making go. me drink it. He has said we had to drink the whole damn bottle. <laughs> Finish your beer. <laughs> Check out our other videos. Because he'll complain at me then if wasting beer. You're not getting up from the bar until you yeah, finish your yeah. beer. Pour the damn sump pump. 
That's what that's there for. Good. And to pee in. No, you can't pee in that. <laughs> Check out our other videos, Beer30.tv, or just go to YouTube, search for our channel, Beer30TV. We'll see you next time. See ya.